A woman is in custody tonight, arrested over the weekend by Brunswick police for her alleged or her possible involvement in the killing of a 16 year old football player last week. Meanwhile, another shooting death yesterday morning is causing the community to ask why there has been so much gun violence in the small town recently. Cheyenne Cole is on your side. She's in Brunswick with the very latest for us. Brunswick football player Michael Ellis was shot to death in the street last week, shocking a community that's now calling for justice. Another life was lost to gun violence Wednesday morning, and now people say they're worried about who might be next. 37 year old Deandra Hightower is charged with tampering with evidence and making false statements in connection to Michael Ellis's death. Brunswick police have an arrest warrant for Breon Hartley, who they say murdered Michael. He's still not been caught, but police say he's armed and dangerous and should not be approached. A separate shooting at a home on I Street Wednesday morning left one man dead. According to a police report, a house cleaner found 35 year old Robert Slay's body and called 911. Gary Cook says there needs to be an investment in the youth of Brunswick. It takes more money for funding for parks, recreation, after school programs in certain areas that, you know, and this city of Brunswick has been rated pretty poor. And so therefore the families can't afford a lot of after school programs and things of that nature. And so you get kind of left behind. Michael Ellis's funeral service is at two o'clock this Sunday at the Brunswick High School gym. In Brunswick, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.